and today I'm talking about our North America study. So if you watched my preschool around the world video, you will already know about this. And if you haven't watched it, I recommend you go back and watch it. But this year we are going through each continent and uh, studying it through picture books and some other fun activities and food. So I'm going to share a little bit of what we do for each continent and our favorite books and such. This book right here, you will see in that video, it is the Maps book. And I love it. It does not have every single country in it, but it has every continent and it has a, um, a bunch of the countries. So, um, and the, it's beautiful. So uh, here's North America. Actually starts with Canada. I believe it always goes alphabetically through the countries that it shows. Um, so we started with the United States because that is where we live. If you live somewhere else, I recommend starting there. Um, so to show you another resource, we didn't get into this one too much, but this is by the same, um, I don't know if it's the exact same authors. I don't think it's the same authors, but it's the same um, company. It's a part of the same series. And it's the 50 states, and it's also gorgeous. And we didn't get into this in a lot of detail yet because um, we're really just doing um, a little bit from each continent, um, kind of an overview. I do have more books on America coming up, but if you were going to do a more in-depth America study, this would be a great addition. And I plan on using this when we eventually get to just studying America and the states. So it goes through whoop, every state. This is actually our state. We live in Maryland. So here is what we read for the United States. Now this is the Usborne Illustrated Fables from Around the World. It is an awesome book and I use it in many of the different content studies. So um, you will see it again. We started with, well, let me find it here, The Water Spirit's Gift. And it's a um, Blackfoot tribe tale. I'll show you some of the, there's not, it's, it, there, there are beautiful pictures. There's not a picture on every page. Um, but they're, they're relatively short stories. We did this in one day along with the next book I'm going to show you. The Very First Americans. This is a fun book. I like it. <laughs> it goes through the different areas of um, North America, of the Americas, and the tribes that lived there, and some of the um, some of their traditions and how they lived. So that is a really neat book. My daughter actually calls um, Native Americans First Americans, and I don't know if you are from a tribe. Um, if you have thoughts on that, let me know. No, like negative comments, please. It's just she calls it that because we read this book, and I don't think it's a bad. Um, I don't think it's a bad term. This is the Legend of the Indian Paintbrush by Tommy De Paula. Um, he has a lot of children's classics. Um, I first knew him from the Stregonona books, um, but he has um, a bunch that are based on. Native American tales and the pictures are really sweet and they're nice stories. We liked this one. Um, he paints on hide, which is something we hadn't seen before. Yeah. So that is the legend of the Indian paintbrush. Next is last stop on Market Street and this is a sweet story by Matt De La Pena and Christian Robinson about a grandmother and her grandson taking the bus down to the last stop on Market Street. And it's um, more of a modern day American, um, you know, get your feel for the city. Um, and, and even though we live in America, we don't often take the bus. So this is uh, different for us. And then in contrast to that, I got One Morning in Maine by Robert McClowski, and it's about um, you know, children in Maine. Um, if any of his books really would probably be a good um, match for this study, you could do um, Make Way for Ducklings takes place in Boston about the ducklings, Blueberries for Sal. I think this is also the same Sal in this book, just a little older. Um, this is the one I chose because it kind of, you know, they're, um, they live on an island off of Maine. 
Um, so it gives you a feel for that environment there. But again, any of the Robert McClowski books would be great. I chose One Morning in Maine and it worked really well. Oh, this is actually a picture book of the song by Woody Guthrie. And we sang, we also sang this song during our morning time. Um, but it was fun to read the book because it has all the pictures. Um, it shows you Route 66 there. And it's cool pictures. So it's something we really enjoyed reading. My daughter likes this song quite a bit. I think we'll continue to sing it. Um, oh, you know, we'll continue to, to bring it back to our morning time. Oh my goodness. Thomas Locker, if you've seen any of his books, I, his, his pictures are just beautiful. I believe they're actually paintings. I think they're oil mostly. And so this is actually just, it's poems, but from, um, by American poets paired with a painting that he did, um, for that poem. Um, and it is just, um, I mean, oh my goodness, the pictures. I mean, this would be great for a poetry tea too. We didn't actually use it for that, but if you have it in your library, add it to a poetry tea. <laughs> okay, this is one of our favorite books that I already had. Um, the Wolves Are Back by Jean Craighead George. This is, he. Um, I believe it's a he, also wrote My Side of the Mountain, which is one of my husband's favorite books from his childhood. Um, there's also The Buffaloes Are Back. I believe it's The Eagles Are Back. Um, it's about, I mean, the wolves and the buffaloes and the eagles um, being brought back to the West and how it restores the balance in these ecosystems of these um, quintessential American animals. And it shows some of the other ones too and how they're all interrelated. And again, beautiful pictures. I love beautiful pictures. You will see that over and over again. So I recommend any of these books. Ooh. This was one that our library had and we kept taking out, so I ended up buying it. The Wolves Are Back. Okay, I am moving on to my non-United States North America books. So we covered a couple other countries. We did Canada and Mexico because they are our neighbors to the North and South. And then I chose one Central American country and one Caribbean country. I chose Guatemala and Haiti. And the only reason I chose these are because I found good picture books from that that take place in those countries so um you might find different picture books or you might have um, connections to other countries and i encourage you to do to um use books from that so this is carson crosses canada this is the book we used for canada super fun um i actually learned a lot about canada because i did not know the canadian provinces um so it goes through all the provinces, well, not all, it doesn't actually get up to the very north here, but it shows you them. Um, and it's a, a lady and her dog on this adventure. Carson is the dog, in case you were wondering. And they go all the way from the, I believe they start in the west coast and go all the way to the east coast. So you will see some, some pictures. And it's got a really cute ending where she found her sister and her sister's dog all the way on the East Coast at the Atlantic Ocean. So I, I love this book. This is one that I bought. And um, yeah, it's great for learning about Canada. Then Mexico. This is I See the Sun in Mexico. And it also is, it has the, um, it has the text in Spanish as well as English. So um, there's a whole series like this that where they do it also and they have the words also in the native language. Um, if you're studying Spanish or any other language and you like find and you find the one from that country, that would be an awesome addition to your language uh, learning as well. Um, we liked this one. I just read it in English because we're not currently studying Spanish. It is something we may do in the future though, and then I will pull this book back out. This was a fun one that my kids really enjoyed. Borreguita and the Coyote. It's just a fable. Um, it's a cute book from the library. I did take out a couple... Oh, the title page is missing on this one. I did take out a, um, a couple other books about Mexico, but 
this was really our favorite and uh, I didn't want to overload you with, with books right now because I have so many. Okay, this is the book that takes place in Guatemala and it's a really sweet story. They weave a beautiful fabric and sell it in the market. Um, or the girl sells it in the market. They work on it together. And this would also be a great one if you're doing um, a handcraft, or if you're doing weaving as a handcraft or art, you could incorporate this book into that as well. It's, it's really sweet. And our last one is Tap Tap, and this takes place in Haiti. And the Tap Tap is, it's kind of like a taxi or a bus. I think more like a bus. It's, it's a fun story about the people getting in and off of the Tap Tap with their stuff. So that is Tap Tap. And those are the picture books that we read for North America. Um, we also went to a Mexican restaurant and tried a local Mexican restaurant, so I don't know how authentic it was, but it was yummy. Do you like it? You like it? Yeah. <laughs> Tiran, how's your food? Are you having quesadilla? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I also just have some papers to show you. So I printed off some coloring pages. Most of these are just found free online um, for the kids to do. My daughter didn't actually color that much in. And these maps are from Montessori print shops. So um, I have one for each continent and then some of the countries. I also printed out a map, not all of them. Canada. I, this is a really cute coloring page. Um, we learned a little bit about the the eagle with the snake for Mexico. And let's see. These ones are actually from an Usborne book called um, Mexican Patterns to Color. And they have a bunch of different ones. So check that out. I don't have the book in front of me right now, but this is just some of the... Um, pictures that I, I copied from the book so that my kids could both have the same coloring pages because I didn't want that to be an issue. And then last but not least, my daughter asked to study animals this year and the way we are incorporating it this year is for each continent, she chooses an animal from that continent, we go find some books or other resources on the animal and, then, and we read them and then she tells me five facts about that animal and I write it down for her. And then we just photocopied this in black and white and she colored it in kind of crazy. She knows that deer are not that color. Um, but these are the five facts she did on deer uh, for North America. Here is my daughter's passport. We used our stamps, um, which I believe I showed you in the introductory video. I got continent stamps. Um, you know, she's young, so it's, <laughs> I think she, she will get better. Um, but this is uh, the flags that we did for the countries um, we covered in North America. And I did not have the sticker book when I was showing you the introduction before. So here is the flag sticker book we are using. It's an Usborne book. Um, we've used some of them already for things. Um, but it has... I want to say it has all the flags. I am not 100% sure. I mean, if not, it has most of them. Um, in sticker format and they're a good size uh, as you could see and they're good quality and I, I got one book for each uh, for my son for my daughter and for myself because we each have our own passports and also if you didn't want to use it in that way it has these pages um, with spaces see they're kind of um, darkened where you can put the flag and write down date and place or whatever however you want to use it you can do it in the book. Um, and it has the maps with the coordinating. So you would look up, you know, um, let's see, China is seven, seven. So you can look up where, where it is based on that. So this has been a good book for us. Um, perfect for our purposes with the passport, but you could just use the book. 
So these are our resources we used for North America. Uh, we had fun. It's a good start. We will keep going and I will try to keep sharing and I hope it was helpful. If you liked this, please press the like button below. Click subscribe if you want to see more of these. I will have more coming for each continent that we are covering, uh, which is all of them. <laughs> and I will talk to you later.